starting or changing a video, that's just for online. Good. So starting out, we're going to do a little bit of warm-up. I'll stay at this distance to start, and then later I will be putting down my uh, headset so I can go back a bit. At that point, I'll ask for uh, Jordan to answer any questions online or to wave at the screen to let me know that uh, we need, I need to come back to the headset because I won't be able to hear you guys. So, for the warm-up, let's start out with some simple, slow hand motion. We'll start with the right foot and the right hand. So we're just going to come out and then back. Nice and loose. Now we're going to go to the left hand. And I get regularly switched to left hand forward. When I've got the left hand forward, which is natural for if you're attacking from this position. If you're defending, then you would have the opposite foot forward, but we don't need to get into that right now. Now we're going to switch to the other hand. We're going to take the weapon from 12 o'clock down to 3 o'clock and back. If you feel a twinge in your wrist or your forearm or your elbow, just stop, stretch it out, or slow down. And the main thing here is just to warm up. And it also builds a little bit more endurance and strength in the muscles that we use with the sword, or in this case, the hammer. Switching to the left hand and the left foot. Same thing to the side, 12 to 9. So here. One thing you can work on when you're doing this is the idea of squeezing the grip. As you squeeze the grip, that brings the weapon up. So you'll see in some cases, as you're moving through a cut, if you squeeze the grip at a certain point, it'll pop the sword, it'll accelerate it. And that's an interesting thing to experiment with. Switching hands and switching grips. Now we're going to go from 12 o'clock down to 9 o'clock. So we're going to the inside now. Switching to the other hand, 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock, switching to the inside. And these are all things you can do while watching TV, while watching a movie. Heck, all of these warm-up drills you could do seated, <clears throat> on the phone, on a long conference call, whatever. Switching grip. So, now we're going to take it to 9 o'clock and go down to... 6 o'clock. You're going to feel this a little bit in your elbow and your shoulder. If you do, just go a little bit slower. Switching again. And again, down from 3 o'clock down to about 6 o'clock. You'll have to move the elbow out a little bit in order to get the full range of motion. Switching hands, switching grip. This one will be awkward. We're going to start at 3 o'clock and go down to about 5 o'clock. I find it hard to get down to like 6 o'clock. This is basically chambering for Truage Satani on this side. I find I, I feel this in the inside of my elbow and a little bit in my shoulder. Switching hands again. Going from 9 o'clock down to about 7 o'clock. And switching hands and switching foot. Now we're going to do our short wrist cuts. Again, part of our warm up. So forward and a fendente. Turn over, rotate back. Technically, this will be like a wrist and an elbow cut, and you'll see a little bit of elbow movement in there. Nice and slow, nice and loose. Just getting things going. Not so loose that it falls out of your hands into the laptop, of course, but nice and loose. <clears throat> switching hands and switching feet. Same thing on this side. We're doing a pendente to the outside, and then a recovery. I like to think of this as going up to Fenestra, back to uh, Didana, and then out. And working on when the transition from true edge to false edge going back, and then turning it over so the true edge is back. All of those transition points, I find I have a lot of work to do to smooth that out especially on this side. And those are things we can work on 
in warm-ups like this is obsessing on the blade control and the angle and then improves your drill and free play considerably. String back to the other hand. Now we're going to cut la fendente to the inside and recover to the inside. I'm going nice and slow, but go at your own speed. One of the things with the video is that, depending on how your camera is set up, you can use your own image on the camera as a target for the shadow boxing. You can aim for the left temple, you can aim for the right temple, etc. So the chain switch feet, and we're going to do a right fendente, recovering to the inside. After which, we'll do some short mitsanis, short sutanis, then we'll move into the next portion of the practice. One thing I haven't mentioned is that it's good to have a bottle of water with you. Uh, some of these uh, practices have gone about 90 minutes, so it's nice to have water breaks from time to time. Also, just because I have the headset on right now, I've got limited range of motion for my footwork, chains hands and chains feet, but doesn't mean that while we're doing the uh, warm up, you don't need to, uh, you need to be limited to what I'm doing. You could actually include your footwork. So what did I promise you next? Mitsani. So we're going to come up. Uh, just a sh short little snap cut. This is essentially just redoubling on the same side, which feels unnatural because it has such little power. It's just a snap cut. Now to the other hand, other foot. That was to the right. This one will be to the left. Out. Recover. Out. I like to go up to Finestra. So this is just a short little snap cut. Recover. Snap cut. Recover. And I think of this as chambered back to Boris, back to Post de Donna. Switching hands, switching feet. Now with the right hand and the right foot, we'll do a left true edge mitsani here. And then come around and recover. So we're having a circuit here and then around. For fun, let's do a false edge. So if we did a false edge mitsani, we have to turn around and we're going to strike with the claw edge. And then turn around, strike with the claw edge. One more. This one I find much more problematic. But in a warm-up, it's a good idea to try things like these. Here we have Mitsani, across, recover. Mitsani, cross, recover. Two more. And then we'll do our Satanis, and then we'll move on. I digress. Now we'll do a false edge. So we'll come out, turn it over, and a false edge across this side. So the claw. And then a false edge. And then one more. Good. Back to the right hand. Let's do our true edge satanis. So, first of all, I'm going to do out to the right. So, up. And then recover. I find this one awkward. Two more. Last one. It's a chance switch feet. Again, it's a Tony the outside. Last one. Switch and switch feet. We'll do true edge Satani to the inside. This one's along the line of the sword one hand defense that Fiore de Berry has us do from left tail, but we're doing it from a forward leaning Didana. Up. Recover. Up. And let's do it with the false edge. So we turn the false edge over and then up. So it's hard on the wrist from this position, but you could see how from the left tail. That would actually be quite natural. Left hand. <clears throat> True edge Satani to the inside. Recover. And false edge.
Good. Roll out your shoulder. 